Hi everyone, this is Karma Lichty with Onward Studios. In this video, I am going to show you an alternative to Photoshop. This particular software program is called Paint.net. It is a free program that you can download off the internet. And my goal here is just to kind of show you comparisons so you get a feel for how Paint.net that works. This is, this is a very viable, good alternative to Photoshop. If you're not using all the features in Photoshop and you just need a good image editing program to change resolution, image size, do a couple effects, add text, maybe add some, some shapes, etc. Paint.net is a great way to go. As you can see, just from the desktop of paint.net, it has similarities to Photoshop. We see the toolbar in the top left. We see several of these different panels, the same type of panels that we have in Photoshop. Here's our history panel, which tracks all the changes we do and also gives us the ability to undo changes. Here's the layers panel, which we're all familiar with inside Photoshop to add other elements to, a, to an image or to a graphic. Here's our colors palette to choose different colors. So let me do just a couple of steps here so you can kind of see how, how paint.net works. We have the main menu across the top again with, with very similar options, not as many and not as complex, but certainly some very good options underneath of these uh, options in the main menu. I'm going to add a layer and we'll just add a shape to this layer and then maybe some text. So I'm going to click to add a layer in our layers palette. I'm going to grab a shape tool. I'll do the rectangle tool. Again, just as we see in Photoshop, all the settings for the selected tool show up here in right above the preview area. So the brush width will be the size of the stroke. We're going to fill it with a solid color. This works just a little bit different than what Photoshop does right now. The stroke is going to be this primary color. So I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle. It doesn't fill it with color, so I'm going to grab the paint bucket tool and set this to, we'll keep it the same green color and fill that with a, with a color. I'm going to click on that and move it down here to the bottom right. And then let's add some text above it. So I'm going to grab the text tool. I'm going to change this to a black. So I'm going to choose the black swatch in the colors panel. Make it a larger text by choosing maybe a 36. And we'll stick with Arial, but you saw all those options that you can have there. And we'll call this Mountain Scene. Technically, I should have noticed that's one difference here in between Photoshop and Paint.net. It does not automatically put your text layer to a new, new layer. So I'm going to back up here to here. Actually, put that back down the right corner. I'm going to do a new layer. Grab the text tool again and then type in. and adds a third layer to the with our, with our text. So that's a very quick introduction to paint.net. So if you're looking for an alternative to Photoshop, I really encourage you to check this check this program out.